The topic tonight is going to be one microphone. One mic for a few reasons. One, because you got to learn to capture drum sound with one mic. The more you know about that, the easier it is to set up multiple mics on the drum set. In front of the kit is one of my favorite spots to put it because there's quite a few different things you can do with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a large diaphragm condenser out in front, like I said, we are about four feet in front of the kit. And then in a few minutes when Hal's demoing this, we're going to move this mic up and down. Now what's going to happen is it's going to act like an EQ. The lower the mic gets, the more low end we're going to capture. We're going to lose some cymbals or mitigate some cymbals. We'll also mitigate or have a little bit less snare. Now the higher it goes, the less low end and less kick drum we're going to get. Therefore, it's going to have more high end, more mid range to it. Okay, now let's do this so we can hear everything that this mic is giving us. Play four bars of a hat groove with the tom fill, some crashes, go to the ride for four bars, and then play a tom groove, our normal 12, okay? All right, let's check out what this sounds like. Now, let's talk about using this mic height and how we can use that as an EQ. So I'm going to have Tao's going to help me out here. Can you help me out, brother? He's like pulling double duty today. He's, he's watching. Yeah. Let's, let's start with going down. Give me a groove, brother. Right away, you got more kick drum. All right, go to the ride. Give me a tom groove after this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So there we actually, we're definitely emphasizing the kick drum. And let's go up about another, I don't know, another foot if we can get it up there. We're not using the big stands. But this is the kind of thing, if you only have a few mics and you're going to do a recording, you can do a lot with that. You don't need a mic locker with 50 or 60 microphones. If you have four or five mics that you know really well and you know how to manipulate those so you're getting good sounds from the start, not, you know, before you do EQ, before you do compression, before you do anything, if you know how to move those mics around to get the sound you're looking for, you can always get great sounds. All right, same groove. Oh, more cymbal. Give me a fill and some cymbals. Definitely more cymbal now. Go to the ride after this. Notice the riot isn't louder. Tom. We've lost some thickness. Now, this wherever you go now, you notice up here, the snare's coming out more. We definitely have the top end of the cymbals a lot more than we had before. But we've lost a little of the body of the toms. We've lost some body of the, the kick drum. And all of this is okay. The thing with when you, what you're trying to make, you know, either mental notes or, or writing this stuff down when you're doing this with your microphones is how they sound because not every piece of music is the same. Not every drum sound needs lots of beef, you know, or maybe you want to build some depth in the sound. And if you're getting beef from your overhead and your inside kick drum mic, maybe you're just looking for some of the space. So you want it a little thinner. And maybe that's by raising the mic up as opposed to taking it further away how these two uh, new microphones change our drum sound.